Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are new here, my name is Breezy. If you are not new here, thank you for returning. Um, we are in the middle of like all this chaos, which I know everybody knows what I'm talking about. We don't really need to like go into detail about it, but we've been sitting at home a lot, we're quarantined, and honestly, I don't need to get ready for anything, but I figured today, I do have a couple um, new favorite shadows that I've been loving, and I figured I would just make a video, a quick little get ready with me, if you want to spend some time practicing makeup while you're in this quarantine, it's a great time. If you really don't have anywhere to go, you don't have to be worried about if it doesn't look that great, if you mess up, if you just want to practice. So things like that are one of the reasons I love makeup. It's also just like therapeutic for me. It makes me feel better. I love trying new stuff. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go through. The main point is going to be the new shadows that I'm loving, but I will show you everything I'm using along the way for the entire getting ready process. The nails are looking ratch. It's like that time, all the funny memes going around, like all these girls with like no eyelash extensions. Mine are hanging on by a thread. I need to brush this quick. I love watching makeup videos and YouTube videos related to beauty stuff when I'm like stressed. It might sound weird to some of you, but it's just something I love. So me creating these videos is just hoping that provides that kind of like 10 to 15 minutes of besides thinking about everything that's going on. So yeah, I'm just gonna have some fun and play with some makeup. Every time I'm down, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are, 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 you are the solution. You are the solution. You are, you are, you are. I'm gonna prime. I did like all my face uh, moisturizers and stuff like that. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Literally, my nails are so bad. Love anything that's hydrating because my skin is literally dry as anything. It's been pretty great. This isn't a first time use. I've used this probably like five or six times by now and I really like it. You can see, just looking right at my skin, how much it moisturizes. And then for a quick little foundation, moment i'm going to use the this is not anything new this is the it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream i use the color light right now i'm definitely going to use a different color when it comes up to summer but i'm just going to use a little bit of this with my beauty blender and pull my hair back out of my face and i'll be right back you can tell with the primer it really like gives you that hydrated look also, sorry that my lighting is not that good. The sun's going down and I meant to film, film earlier and I forgot. I might just do my brows really quick because I hate looking at the rest of my makeup without my brows on. I don't know, it just drives me insane. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop uh, Brow Boss. This is in the color Ash Brown. Looks like this. I'm gonna use the mirror on my Kylie bronzer. And just like really quick tips like for doing your brows, like I use a pencil majority of the time. I line above and below my brow to start and then I kind of fill in the tail like the end of my brow. Kind of pull that line back and I fill in a little bit as I go. But you can tell the difference already. Obviously I need to fill in the front but from that one to this one. So then I do a couple hair like strokes in the front and then I pull it back. I'm just gonna do one brow because I'll do the other one off camera and save you guys the time. Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. This is in the shade Soft Brown. And I have used this up a ton, obviously. I use the side that's more of like an ashier tone versus the warmer one. And then that is like the powder is what I really pull through the front a little bit more because I feel like it just has a softer look. And this brush is like pretty precise, so it's very like flat edge. So I'll start at the bottom and then I kind of just press it up as I go. I think the front of your brow doesn't need to be as like defined as the rest of it. That's what makes like some brows look super crazy and like blocky. So then I always brush the hair up, brush the product through. Then the last thing I'll do is I'll use any brow gel really. Right now I'm just gonna use the Beauty Counter one. This one is clear. Um, I do have an Anastasia one and a ColourPop one that are Color. And I love using brow gel to just brush the hairs up a little bit and out to the side kind of gives them that fluffy look. I don't know, I honestly switch it up depending on like if I do my eyes or my face first. Right now, I'm just gonna do most of my face first, I think, and get that over with. Um, so I'm gonna go into concealer next is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. Looks like this. If you don't know the brand Makeup Revolution, they are sold at Ulta. 
They're pretty affordable. Um, I would like the inner corners to be a little lighter than this. I'm gonna use the ColourPop one more towards the inner corners and I'm gonna put this one right here. Just a little here. Gonna take my Damp Beauty Blender and just pat that in. I do love the dewy look, but obviously not under my eyes or like down my nose. So I'm gonna take some of the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I'm so sad, I'm almost out of this, I can't believe it. I feel like powders last forever. Um, so that goes to show that I've really used this one up. It does have the like really strong peachy smell. I don't mind it, but if you're sensitive to smells, you may not like it. But I really do love the way this powder looks. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just take a big fluffy brush, whatever's left in the pan, I'll just kind of blot that around the rest of my face. I'm gonna quickly take this Sony Kashuk contour stick. It looks like this. A couple spots on the cheeks and around my forehead. I'm still gonna go over with bronzer, but sometimes I like a cream to go underneath. Having the cream base of like contour bronzer underneath just like helps it look more natural even if I'm going over top with powder. So then I'm just gonna grab my bronzer brush. Which brush is this? I think I got this in a BoxyCharm. I don't even know what the brand is, but I love how fluffy it is. And there's a huge hair on it. I'm actually gonna use my Kylie bronzer. This is in the color khaki. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. I like this because it's buildable. It's not like super, it's not super dark right away. I go on my forehead, right under the chin. Then one of my favorite parts, I'm gonna take blush. I literally wish I switched it up more, but I just swear to God I don't because I love this blush so much. It's the Milani in the color 05 Luminoso. The front looks like this. The actual color is a shimmery blush. That's why I love it so much because it gives such like a nice glow to your cheeks. Let's go like one side with and one without before I move on for a comparison. Like how much better does that side look than that? Like that's just so blah. That is cute. Very quick in between step, I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. I'm gonna go back to the bronzer and just slightly contour my nose. So I'm just gonna literally run a little bit of the bronzer down the side, like sweeping motions up to the inner corner towards my brow. And then you can kind of like quick connect it underneath. This is a really fast step, but what you can also do is if you feel like you were kind of sloppy with it or you just want to make sure it's toned down a little bit, I just take a beauty blender and pat on the sides where that was. It's like one of my favorite steps of all time right now is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. This thing is freaking... If you love a glowy look, you have to use this. I use this all the time when I'm just doing like really quick makeup because it's liquid, so it doesn't look like you have this crazy beaming like powdery highlight on. Um, it just like looks like skin. But even if I'm wearing a powder, there's a hair. Even if I'm gonna wear a powder highlight, I'll still put this underneath just because it gives you like that extra little shine. So you could easily just keep that as your highlighter. It's amazing because it looks like your skin. But I love a beaming highlight, so I'm gonna go into one of my favorite highlights from all time. Actually, I have two favorite Benefit Cookie, which is in this big palette. It looks like this. Or I have my Anastasia and Amory Z collaboration highlighter, which looks like this. I'm actually gonna use this one. I'm gonna quick spray a little setting mist. I'm gonna spray some more at the end because I'm obnoxious, but this is the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I love this stuff. The mist is amazing. I hope you guys can tell. Okay, so for my eyes, dun, dun, dun. this is like the products that I've been loving and are so freaking affordable and cheap and honestly shocked me, shocked me. They were on like the end of the stand at Target and it said it was like three bucks a piece and it was called the Bite Shadows from e.l.f. And I was like, 
Hmm, like I don't know if I've ever actually really tried shadows from e.l.f. They are like really, really affordable slash cheap brand. So I love their putty primer and a couple other things like their um, brow pencil and stuff. But like for shadows, sometimes when it's more affordable, it can mean that like I feel like the shadows are patchier. That's not always necessarily the case, but you know, you never know. But these are freaking insane. So I think there's like four or five different um, little palettes. I grabbed three of them. I wish I would have grabbed the one that had blue in it. And I think there's one that had green, but it was sold out. So this is what they look like. You get four shadows in them. This one actually has three mattes and one shimmer. These both have two shimmers and two mattes. I'll show you guys quick. So this one's called Rose Water. These are the colors. This one's called Cream and Sugar. This truffles. So I'm actually gonna keep with the e.l.f. theme and I'm gonna go with their putty primer. If you don't know about, this is the putty eye primer. If you don't know about the regular putty primer um, for your face, it is like, it was sold out at one point. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my finger for this and I'm just gonna go all over my lid. Not like your normal um, like liquid primer, if you use one that's like on a doe foot, like kind of looks like concealer. This is definitely way thicker. I also left the, left the cap off mine, I think last time, so maybe. A little drier than it's supposed to. I use a combination of all three palettes just because I have them. So I'm going to start with this light color in um, cream and sugar. God, it's going to be hard to go back and forth. Since this one is really light, I'm just going to go into my crease. And with this like darker brown shade, and this is from Truffles. So I'm going to use that to deepen up the crease a little bit. Then you can see obviously that just darkened it up a little bit. Go back to cream and sugar and I'm gonna use the darkest brown here and I'm gonna go just like towards the outer edge a little bit and just deepen up the corner. Just went into that outer edge with this darker brown color. This is gonna be a super simple look. I just wanna show you guys the quality of these shadows. So that doesn't need to be anything perfect. Like I'm just kind of filling in towards the outer edge a little bit and then pulling it across like about halfway in on my crease on the top. So honestly, probably the most shocking part to me about these shadows is the shimmer. And I don't know if I wanna go like the silvery root or the gold. I'm just going to use my finger, if you guys can see. It comes off so well. And I'm just gonna go on to, yeah, look at that. All of my lid. Literally, I think the pigment is so amazing on these, like for the price, like it's nuts. So I'm gonna go back in with my big fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back into that lighter brown shade and truffle here and just go over my crease a bit again, just to kind of blend the shimmer into that brown, really light shade that I started with and just go right above that and kind of connect that up towards my brow bone. I'm gonna go into my highlighter and highlight my brow bone with that. And my inner corner. So then something else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a really small brush and I'm gonna go back into that brown again and I'm gonna go under my lower lash line just to keep it smoky. So I took the lighter brown and then the darker brown and I just smudged them out a little bit towards the outer corner. I took the shimmer on top and the highlighter on my brow bone and then I just kind of connected the shimmer on top with my uh, crease color, that brown, and worked them together. My camera shot off. What I did for my lips is I used the, where is it? How do I lose stuff on my desk right in front of me? I know it's here. I know I can see it. I can't find it, but I use the NYX um, lip liner in the color Natural. It's literally my favorite lip liner of all time. And then I used these two. These are from KKW Beauty. This is the Nude 3 lipstick. 
and this is the rose gold gloss on top. I love this combo. Her lip products are amazing. Honestly, if you're stuck inside during quarantine, which you should be, stay inside, don't go anywhere. If you can order online from Target or Ulta or Sephora, I don't think Sephora carries it, but if you can order online from Target or Ulta and you wanted to play with some new makeup, um, or if you have these but you haven't used them yet, or the next time you are able to go out after all this is over, the Elf Bite size shadows are amazing. So I have Truffles, Cream and Sugar, and Rose Water. There are a couple other ones. One has blue tones in it, one has green, I believe. I would love to play with the green one. But overall, like these um, shimmery shadows are just amazing quality. Like, I'll get this one on my finger. If you can see, that's the pink one. This is the silver. Last one, this is like the coppery color. The lighting was better and I had natural daylight, but that is my look for the Sunday where I'm literally going nowhere. It's like 7 p.m. I'm gonna probably go take it all off in like an hour. But I just wanted to show you guys those shadows that I've been loving, something super affordable and just to get ready with me. Like makeup can be really therapeutic during this time or if you've always had an interest in makeup. So subscribe to a couple channels, watch the makeup, learn about it, um, play around with it. Even if you have stuff at home, even if you never take pictures of it or you never go anywhere, it's really fun to experiment with. I don't know. It's just something I love to do. It's not about like getting ready for somebody else. It's just something I love to do myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this gave some light to the situation in your quarantine and I hope you guys subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.